Welcome back to another episode of Gardening with Ryan. And as you probably know, I'm Ryan. If you watched the first episode, you already know what we have going on here. And I am back to check on it, and here are some results. Out of these cuttings of succulents, they seem to be doing really well and flowering and such. The peculiar thing is... No rooting, just healed itself. So, I'm not sure if I should cut it again. I think I will. Or maybe just keep watering it. We put the banana in there last time to make compost and it kind of just dried out, but um, I would think that makes this soil more nutrient rich if you crush it up. We've got a lot more dandelions that have uh, sprouted. So that's cool. And we've got pretty substantial green growth on this one. This one's still looking mostly dead, but look at that beautiful green stripe. Gonna bring it back to life. See, um, we planted this one, these succulents, and that, I'm curious if it's taken root. Ah, uh, same thing. But you know, that's how I've always done it with these. Ooh, this leaf is starting to dry out. Maybe this isn't the way to go. Maybe some will make it, some won't. It's all about learning on the fly. Here's this uh, mystery jar that we threw some of everything in. That's a cool flower. What did that grow off of? Oh, it just fell off of something. See, I know succulents can retain moisture for a long period of time, but remember this, whatever the heck this was, this is pretty dry. Um, everything's pretty dry, but um, there's a lot more flower action. I mean, just look at that. And disclaimer, as I probably already said, I know almost nothing about gardening. But for today's compost bin, we are going to add <laughs> leaves. Because I'm sure, okay, the reason life sustains life and life eats life and we eat plants and animals it's because they have the same nutrients that we need to power ourselves so I would figure that these really squishy parts of plant matter would be rich in the nutrients necessary to sustain a plant which is why plants get eaten And I know it's not a traditional compost bin by any means, but we're just out here having fun. So, I think one of the coolest things that I noticed was see I'll just break that up and throw that in there. Just kinda let it dry out, you know? Make this some nutrient rich soil for whatever we decide to grow in here. And 
Now, check this out. I know I was talking about how this area is all gross and dry. Look at that grass growth. I think these wood chips mean that it's intended to be this way, but like, has that ever stopped me? So, given that I've just kind of spread vegetation around, my plan from here is essentially to just water the heck out of it. And see what happens. I feel like the succulents are gonna survive. I, I, I just am inclined to think that. I knocked something over back there. Oh. Yeah, sorry for the rotations, guys. I keep forgetting that I'm filming uh, in proper aspect ratio to be viewed on a monitor. What's up with the one, two, and three leaves on that? Oh, it's a zoom. So, see this is all dry? We're just gonna drench, kind of. Well, first, we're gonna hit all the pots. Going to work in a few hours. I woke up really early today, actually. My usual sleep schedule. I wake up at like 2 or 3 or later in the afternoon because I go to bed when the sun comes up. But I woke up at a really normal time today because I had a really bad migraine last night. And I knocked out. That's good. And I don't remember if we planted that one. I think we did. That looks like that's doing well too. But see how dry it's getting over here? I think I, I think I waited too long with the water. Oh, and a viewer sent in a comment that those little clover things that grow that I was complaining about are actually harmless to plants, and not only that, but safe to eat. Do I plan on eating them? No, because when I asked the viewer how sure they were, they said pretty sure that it was that, and, oh, there's a bee. I'm not trying to piss you off, buddy. Just watering the plants but if for some reason you take this as aggression and you feel the need to sting me I honestly you're just acting on reflex buddy I get it oh look bees pollinating my plant over there that's cool to see and then let's get this plant. There we go. Oh. There's my get ready for work alarm. Good thing I already am. Uh, what was I talking about? 
I guess I'll talk about, um, I did an interview with a Lutheran vicar for episode one of WDDB, and that got, like, it's gotten quite a few views so far, and, um, what I really, what I really have liked about that upload is how much watch time it's gotten. Oh, look, new, look at those little baby succulents right there. Let me try and zoom in on that. Yep. Because there's a hundred and something views, yet we already have over eight hours of watch time. So, that means people that are clicking are staying. And, um, 30 something percent impression click through rate, which means that percent of people that see it are, like, actually watching. So, I'm looking forward to doing future episodes of that, keeping the news going. I'm not sure how, I, I, I'm not sure how to divide between here and Snapchat for the news, because I usually keep the news mainly to Snapchat, except for, like, special events and stuff on here. But, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Let's water this one. First, actually, this one's the concerning one. It's nice out today. Uh, it's starting to sound full. Yep. This one's turn. That plant's looking kind of dry, too. Everything back there is. We'll get the everything part. our compost bin thing. We're just going to put random stuff in there until we grow something in there. I don't know what we're going to grow, but it's going to be something cool. See, it's just being infused into the dirt. Um, let's see. Did we have that pot already? That um, one. This one. This, you might be able to see the bees hanging out. Bees really don't want to sting you. You shouldn't be afraid of them. Everything's pathological now, though, so I'm going to get so many comments like, Hey, I have biophobia. It's so insensitive. Mm. 
And I know this isn't universal, but I've kind of noticed people that actually have like issues. Eh, that's a rant for a news episode, not a gardening episode, but that'll be an exciting. I was gonna say, I was gonna go on a rant about people being disingenuous. I gotta do it now. Okay. So, you might just think I'm going silent, but I'm kind of conflicted about my own opinions here. On the one hand, I think it's kind of silly to get all upset about words and labels, but on the other hand, my presupposition there is being challenged a little bit mainly because I've experienced the negative consequences of bad categorization. Mainly in the example of um, most people thinking OCD just means you're a neat freak or organized. But it can actually be very crippling. Like it is for me. So... I don't know. Maybe. See, those look like they took root. Look how healthy those are. They're just standing up. And even if they didn't, I don't care because they're looking good. And we're going to water that one. And then we're going to get these couple pots again real quick and then we'll water the dirt a little that one's so big that I don't feel the need to go fill it all the way up there's this pot back in here too can't forget that Didn't forget about you, buddy. So, on the one hand, I think people getting all upset about terms. Okay. I guess I didn't start my rant off correctly. Everything is pathologized now. Every time someone's worried or they have an anxiety disorder, every time someone's sad, they're depressed. And I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about people claiming this. I'm talking about mainly doctors. Um, I challenge you to walk into a psychiatric office and not leave with the prescription. Or basically burying the succulent by watering it. I don't know. I challenge you to walk in and not leave with a prescription for antidepressants. And I'm not. I'm on two antidepressants. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying regardless of what the issue is, it seems like... Um, default is you have an issue. Now, I don't know enough about this to say if they make money from prescribing medications versus not, but I know that a patient that doesn't need medication is less likely to return to a psychiatrist. Sorry, B, did not mean to hit you there, dog. Yeah, that's good. Now, I'm gonna just
trying to sweep everything really quickly. Hang on a sec. Let's go plant by plant. But anyway, I feel like the pathologizing of everything also falls into the area of accountability. It seems like now every time someone does something wrong, it's what disorder motivated them to do this. And I'm not making any conclusive thoughts here, because I'm starting to wonder, um, do people really ever just say, I'm gonna... I'm totally recording sideways right now. I'm so used to holding a phone upright. I'm sorry. Do people ever just say... This is evil and I'm going to do this for the sole purpose of impacting negative on the world. Let's give an extreme example, even a serial killer. Or is it because they're miserable? Of course it's not an excuse, but... I mean, the argument has been made, and I agree with it, that um, drug use should not be criminalized because it's not really a criminal... It's not really a criminal issue, it's more of a health issue. But... Um, I guess the short version of what I'm saying is, um, people are... There's a trend of non-accountability, and I feel weird saying that from my perspective, because... I mean, I wonder sometimes if I myself, because of how almost glorified it is to be mentally ill now, um do this to myself like um, I wonder if see there's a sharp rise in mental illness among our age group and most of you guys watching I'm 22 but my age group our age group whatever it's on the rise and um, as to why I don't think people are looking in the right directions I think I'm much more relevant. I'm just gonna, you know, spray water all over the place here while I talk. I think the way to approach it more correctly would be to ask what's novel to this generation? What does this generation do differently that other generations don't have a problem with that could induce this? Because I don't think. Because it, of course, mental illness is, um, illness, but no one thinks it's purely bi biological. There's environmental slash circumstantial factors is accepted by the whole of psychology. So, I think people should look at... You know... What else do I want to rant about while I just stand out here and water? And because I might take a while to do this again, that's why I'm watering a bunch. And there's a bunch of soil here, and soil's pretty good at retaining water. So, I'm giving it water to retain for me. Bury that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think those are gonna grow roots, but if they do, that would be epic. So 
So, today I'm going to go to work. And after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I guess I should stop talking about what's coming soon and just kind of do it, you know? Because the reveal is more exciting than the announcement, and saying, I'm gonna do this, is way less cool than saying, I did this. I want to get this area soaked so it becomes less just... dead. See, I just see little pop-ups of life down here, and I'm like, alright, let's water the heck out of it. See, oh, last episode we transplanted this grass, and it is doing pretty well. So we're gonna keep this watered, and hope I don't know how grass reproduces, actually, so I don't know if it'll spread, but... You know what? We will find out. See? Look, there's all this growth here, and there's no reason it can't expand to there. Oh, what is that thing? Wow, look, it's a little warm of some sort. Oh, let me, let me, let me find it again. Where did you go? Obviously water didn't hurt it, so... Alright, it's gone. Well, bye, worm. There is a little worm of some sort. Maybe this stuff is growing here because there's, um, more shade, or... I don't know. With this many plants around and with this area wet, I feel like it can't not turn green. Especially if I just, uh, keep watering this mystery jar. That thing will reproduce something. Maybe they don't need to take root initially. Maybe succulents can just suck up water other ways and stay alive. I really don't know. Let's see. Let's just get the mystery thing a bit more. And honestly, what I'm very inclined to do, what I'm not inclined to do, what I'm going to do, is just grab the hand. Wow, oh, didn't get roots. Just. You know, grab an uprooted hand. Just vegetation, you know. The kind of thing we're doing right here. Look, 
plant. 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 Um, just by throwing it over there, I think it might. Get a little greener. Yeah, it's already starting, so I'm not too worried about this area. But back there. Well. See, you know what? Pro gardeners probably don't do this. And that's probably for a good reason. But. I don't know what that reason is, folks. And I can't really care if I don't know. That's a lot of roots. Let's just take this whole thing up and throw it over there. Plants. Right there, right back in here, chill. Then we're gonna close this one out. Because we are at half an hour. Man, the last one was like over an hour long. I make these just for the people who wanna watch them. Well, I guess that's why anyone makes any content. But... Oh, that's a really cool dandelion plant. Look, there's multiple coming off of it. Let's see if we can dig that sucker up. Yep. Ah, uh, mate, nah, not really. But we've we know what the leaves look like now. One last thing I'll do is hit this area and this pot of whatever. And up in here is doing okay. Remember, this was all kind of dead back in here. I see a lot of that's dead, and it's, but it's mostly healthy. I don't see really dry leaves. I just see the cycle of life. Let's, let's just spray it down a little over here. These episodes are mostly ironic, by the way, because I know I have no idea what I'm doing. And a little water for this tree. That barren area. I don't like just barren areas. You know what? That's the project now. Make this area green. Again. <laughs> this gardening show not affiliated with Donald J. Trump.
be kind of ironic after all the Trump rants I've gone on. On the news show. Oh, wow, look. That's fast. And convenient. And pretty thorough. Alright. That's enough of uh, California stealing other states' water for today. Yeah, oh, remember how I was complaining about how this grass is all dead? Well, look at that. Look at this. I'm not gonna go too ham on it because just grass, but like, I feel like if I just barely go over the lawn for like, just a minute or two, it'll look so much better. I'm not putting that much water on here, but like, is some better than none? I mean, I, I think the, the 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 grass gets watered on a timer, but uh, the landlord controls that, I think. And oh, something growing. Thanks for watching this episode of Gardening with Ryan. If you watched, you know, enough people watched the last one that I was like, it's the thing now. I know I didn't really talk about anything interesting, but I think, I think I can do whatever I want on this channel. Mine. Like, the worst thing that can happen is YouTube banning me, which I actually anticipate will happen someday, folks. I don't think with my style of content, like, well, I'm gonna try my best to be on here for as long as possible. And you'll know how to view me elsewhere if I do get booted. But, um, you can get the ban really easily these days. I mean, realistically, I'm not getting banned, but well, I might. Who knows? I have to go to, like, BitChute or something. I feel like uploading on, like, BitChute puts you on a watch list or something, though. Like, all of the, like, quote, 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 private search tools. They're just the right wing data mining you. Like your Brave Browser and DuckDuckGo. All that. It's like if, if you search news on DuckDuckGo, first thing you get is like Newsmax. Trump's like, like the Trump news station. And then you get like Fox News. It's... Uh, if you search coronavirus, like, the first 50 results, like, why coronavirus is fake. Now, I'm not saying that, I'm not taking any opinions here, I'm just saying that they're obviously both opinionated. Anyway, I think things are looking pretty nice, but they could look greener, but I think that'll improve quickly. See you guys in the next one.